everyone. Welcome back to me and Paul's channel, The Virtual Investor. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to navigate some of the filters that an auction site called Hubzoo has. So you get a little bit more familiar with it if you aren't already. So first thing you do, you kind of go to hubzoo.com right here. And this is what the main page of the site looks like. And then if you want to look for certain properties in certain areas, you know, you're going to buy and maybe start with all auctions. We'll kind of go through that process. And here kind of is just kind of a main landing page of every property in the country for Hubzoo right here. And these are filters that we can narrow down by. Um, you could pick a certain state that you just want to look at, uh, Pennsylvania. And you know, instead of 1400 properties, you're gonna now have 97 properties uh, just in the state of Pennsylvania on this site. So from there, okay, if you picked your state that you wanted to look at, what are some you know, property types? Maybe you only wanna look at single family or multifamily. They have a lot of indicators here on specifically what you're looking at to buy. If you wanna look at them all, just keep it as is. You don't have to select anything. Next is asset type. So what type of uh, asset is it? is it? Is it a bank owned? Is it a non-bank owned? Is it a short sale, et cetera? These are all different filter types here. Well, you know, at the virtual investor, we primarily target bank owned properties and uh, CW uh, COT properties as well. Uh, so these are, you know, bank owned. That's a special program that's out there. Usually you don't have interior access uh, to these properties. Next is you know, property status. Um, you know, maybe you just want to only look at active properties or just new to HubZoob, um, depending on what criteria that you want. And from there, we have, you know, different occupancies. Are they occupied? Meaning, you know, someone's currently living there, there's no interior access, or you only want, you know, vacant properties, um, or they also have shelf showing properties where it's, it's vacant, it's on a lockbox, you could kind of go see it. And then more filters here, you got price ranges, maybe you only want to look at properties that are under 100K, 500K, you name it. Are there certain bedrooms you only want to look at three plus bedrooms? Same thing with bathrooms. And then you have square footage, you know, you're built, maybe you only want newer construction. So something built after, you know, 2000s. And then from here you have other things, maybe you don't want to pay a buyer's premium to the auction site. So you would check that. So a lot of different filters here, uh, similar to uh, other auction sites as well. So once you kind of go through and select all these uh, criteria. you could then save the search and you have a dedicated search where you don't have to play around with these filters now every time and go back to the, you know, clicking through everything again. So hopefully this video is helpful. If you have any questions, please uh, let us know in the comment section and me and Paul will answer your questions. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.